as discussed at the end of my last video, day two of my Wessex Mini Cycle Tour in Dorset. Day two's video footage all got badly corrupted on my computer, yet it's perfectly okay on my phone. The decision I made is I'm no longer going to edit my videos on the laptop. I'm actually going to edit them on the phone from now on. So I'm filming this as well as most of my footage these days on my DJI Osmo Action 2 camera. And it comes with an app which you can download on your phone. There it is. And as long as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is on, they will sync. And it's got an editor there. So this is my first attempt at posting a video on the video editor. If you're watching this, I've managed to put a couple of clips together. I'll try and overlay some music, possibly a bit of text, maybe add a photograph in, just the basics and we'll see how it goes. If you're watching this film, I've managed to do it okay. I've just got back from Avon Valley Cyclery. I took my bike down there this morning for a free six week service. In fact, it's been about eight weeks because they ordered in some mud guards for me. And I can tell it's been serviced because the chain's all clean. They've tightened the brakes slightly and they've re-indexed the gears. And also there was just a little bit of clicking on my tour last week. And I'm pretty sure it's the seat post. I told them about that and they've re-greased it and ridden it home now and that clicking's gone. So that's something I could have done, but I left it with them. They went to fit the mud guards that they'd ordered in and the mud guards were too narrow. And the reason for that is these tires, although they say 50 millimeter wide on the sidewall, they're actually wider. And so the mud guards were rubbing. I thought I was gonna have problems with that. So they said to me, they'll send them back, exchange them in about a week's time. They'll phone me when the new ones are in and will arrange for me to go in and have them fitted. That's one of the reasons I wanted them to do it, to be honest, because if they didn't know exactly what size it'd need, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't. And so basically it's their problem really, isn't it? It's a lot less hassle for me.